Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can work with ribbon charts in Power BI. A ribbon chart is great for showing rank changes over time or categories. It is actually like a stacked column chart, but with ribbons that help track the top performers and ranking of the ranking movement accordingly. So let's get started. I have my data here, region, month, manager, country, and the sales. And we will use this data to create our ribbon chart. So let's get started. First, I will go here and select ribbon chart in the visualization pane. Let's bring it here and let's start populating. So in the X axis, I will bring month. In the Y axis, let's bring sales. Let's just, you see it has already been created. Let me expand this and let's see what else we can do. Now you can see that we have March, February, Jan. Let's sort it by month. And we sort it by month and ascending. Sorted by descending is fine. March, Jan. Now in the legends, let's add region. Now you can see that regions are also added and here if I come here you can see month March region is north and the sales is 55,000. We can further add tooltips and small multiples. Let's say for tooltips I can add manager and let's see how it will work. If I come here now it's showing manager I will just let me just do this. And if I come and I click here, you see North, month is March, manager is Alice, USA, and the sales. I will click here again. Now let's also add country and we will see how it will be divided. So if I bring country here, now you see it's divided. So we only have two countries, Canada and USA. So it's divided into two. Let's remove the country. Let's see if we can bring it in the tooltips and now you can see country and manager let me just again remove this and also country so i like it this way you can also uh, have any other legend or sorry small multiples if you want but i will not add i will just keep it as it is so we have month march region North sales 55,000, manager Alice and country USA. Still not, still written as first country. Let me just fix this. Now let's further see how we can, just a second, how we can modify it further. We will come here and we will go to format your visuals. Now here we can modify x axis if i unselect we need the values i will just make it a bit bold i will remove the title but you can keep the title if you want and you can change the layout accordingly similarly we can do this same with y axis i will just remove the title we will keep the values and in the legends so these are the legends how do you want it Top left, top center. Let's move the title here also. Grid lines, zoom slider if you want. I will just remove this. Columns. You can change the color of each column if you want. For example, here we can make it red, east, north. We can make it as yellow and so on and so forth. You can also add border for them. Let me just... If I select all and if I select border, so this is how it's appearing. Let me just remove that. In the ribbon, if I remove it, it will just become like a stack column. Uh, this is what we talked about earlier in the video also. But to get the ribbon feeling, we have to add this. In the data labels, let's add the data labels. And you can see series, how you want it. You can modify it. And add the title also if you want and the values we keep the values we are showing the sales but we can 
let's see where is it data label values and you can change it if you want you can add month you can add let's go back and add sales we'll keep it and you can change it further if you want to add any details you can do that you can drag let's see if i drag month this will appear as this i don't want any more details i will remove this background if you want i'll keep this background and layout you can also have a total label this looks good now this is how you can modify or format your visual and in general tab you can format it how you format any of the uh, power bi visual i will just remove the title from top you can set the properties you can add title and add you know change the details accordingly you can add effects background i will just add a visual border and shadow and so on and so forth so this is how easily you can create a ribbon chart in power bi i oh, hope this video helped if we talk about use cases you can have for example monthly sales by region just like here you can use it for comparing top performing products of your company and uh, you so to help you observe the market share dynamics and all these details i hope this video helped keep watching for more and don't forget to subscribe thank you